Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue our theme of looking at some traditional origami and today we're going to make a really cool folder with lots of little pockets in it. It's fun kind of origami. Uh, this particular origami works good if you use a rectangular sheet of paper. So something like just regular A4 paper works really good. I'm going to show you guys what to do if you're starting off with an origami paper that's just square. Because there's a little trick to just fold it and cut it so that you get kind of the right dimensions so things turn out pretty easily. So I'm going to start with this and then I'll let you guys know the dimensions once I cut the paper. But I'm just going to start here, like I said, with some square paper. So you do need some scissors for this part. I'm just going to start with the color side facing down. I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper in half. Open things up. And I'm just going to take the bottom right tip and bring it up to the top. Now, you don't necessarily want to maybe make a crease on this. If you want to avoid it, you can. Just pull it up until you find where it reaches into the center. And then you could take this edge and just pinch it right on that point. Once you've got that marked, then just fold straight down. And this is the part at the top that we're going to want to remove to give us just a slightly less square and more rectangular piece of paper. So I'll go ahead and cut that part off. And it's really only like a cent two centimeters, it looks like to me here. Let me just cut it off first and we'll see how big it is. Yeah, just about two centimeters is what we cut off. So you wind up then with a piece of paper that becomes 13 centimeters. That kind of looks like a smiley face, sorry. <laughs> so if you wanted to just start off with those dimensions, you could. Or like I said, you can use just a, um, like a letter size piece of paper too. But uh, we've got our paper going like this, and we've got our nice crease in the middle here. And you want to make sure it's going long ways so that the longer side is going like this. And I'm going to take the uh, sides and fold them into the center to make a nice door base. Get both sides folded in. Then open things up for just a second and take the all four corners and fold them into those creases we just made. So we're just making this little tiny bit of triangle here. And I'm just going to do that for all four sides, folding down here. So we've got all four of those folded. Then go ahead and return these creases, these uh, folds over back into the center. Now we want to take the top part here and fold back. And you want it to crease right at the point where that uh, hits, kind of. So once you kind of get it started, you can then make sure that your centers and your edges line up good so that you get a good crease that's nice and straight there. And then look something like this from the other side. And then we're just going to be taking and doing the same thing with this side, bringing it back as well. So you can kind of flip it over and see what things are looking like. Make sure that that crease gets lined up the way it needs to there. Get the centers going too. After you've got that crease, go ahead and take each of these tips and tuck it into the other side so that you get a nice little diamond shape going here in the middle. And once you've got that, if you just fold it in half, it should give you this really cool little folder set. Now, in the center, you have the option of having a huge pocket in here that you could like lay a bill across if you wanted to. You could also put a pack of tissue in here and use it like as a tissue case too. Lots of different cool things you could use that for. You could also choose to keep this like a folder and make each of these pockets be a separate place for something else. And then there's these pockets on the outside here to keep things. As well as if you flip it over, you'll also have a crease here and here as well. So lots of different areas where you can tuck things away and make a nice little simple kind of folder for things. Now uh, the dimensions of this when it's folded up like a book here like this is about 3.75 by about five and a quarter. So about 5.25 tall and 3.75 wide. But you can see how you could just really easily just adjust the dimensions of this to make something um, to be just the perfect size for 
uh, lots of different projects. So uh, that's our little finished folder, which is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.